The mission is almost complete. You have one more flag to capture. Something distracts you. Someone in your party yells out, who's watching SpongeBob? You respond, no one. It's just your video card fans sounding like Patrick. Ouch. Welcome to DIY in Five. Hello everyone, I'm Trisha Hirschberger and this is DIY in Five, where we take tech topics and turn them into easily digestible bites. Did you know you can actually find YouTube videos of people showing examples of different fans around their house sounding like Patrick Starr from SpongeBob? <laughs> Yikes. Note, if your PC fan sounds like a cartoon character, it is due for a cleaning. Today, we are talking about games, underperforming, or more generally, common PC problems and how to fix them. But our focus this episode is on GPUs. GPU issues can cause many things such as computer crashes, black screens, and visual artifacts. Some of the reasons that we run into issues could be a fan that sounds like Patrick Starr, or it could be simply an issue with a video driver. Either way, don't worry, DIY in 5 has you covered. Let's start with visual artifacts. If you see any weird visuals such as missing or deformed geometry, wonky textures, flickering elements, and other weird graphic issues, the first thing you should do is check the video card drivers and upgrade to the latest driver. This step should resolve most visual artifact issues. However, sometimes artifacts could be caused by heat. To fix this, you need to open up the PC. You will wanna make sure that the video card fans are free from dust and debris. If they aren't, clean them. Also, since you already have the PC open, it would be a good time to make sure that the rest of the fans and PC are clean as well. Also, don't ever discount airflow, as poor airflow can definitely be a culprit. If you have a rat's <laughs> nest of cables and dust inside your PC, it might be a good idea to revisit cable management. These steps should resolve the visual artifact issues that you're facing. Next, computer or game crashes. Game crashes will always happen when you tell yourself that you're going to save, but you're on a roll. And when the crash happens, 15 to 30 minutes of game time has just been lost. Focus. Let's talk about solving this issue. Again, like before, you need to be running the latest video card drivers. Next, disable your antivirus and other software that may still run during the game's operation. If this step fails, try running the game in administrator mode. If you're still experiencing issues, distinguish between a game crash and a computer crash. If the computer is shutting off or blue screening, check the CPU, but more likely the power supply. When the game is at its peak, it could be requesting more power than the power supply can supply without becoming unstable. If it's not the CPU and not the power supply, contact the OEM to see if there's an issue on their side. In our previous episode, we also talked about checking the BIOS after crashes to see if the requested voltage is over the spec that shows in PC Health. While you should differentiate between a game or a computer crash, it's also important to distinguish between a game crash and what is called a black screen. A black screen is generally caused if the PC is asking for a resolution that the PC doesn't support. It also can be caused by video drivers. So you may have solved your game performance issues from before, but you have intermittent black screens where the monitor just goes blank. It's recommended to check the release notes of the video driver, and if they don't specifically address black screen issues, it's time to reach out to the OEM. In most cases, video driver updates will solve these issues. What about overclocking? Overclocking is never fully guaranteed, so if you're still experiencing issues, it's a good idea to remove the overclock first and then repeat these steps. If the computer is stable, you will need to find an overclock that will work for you and your PC. If you found this video helpful, like this video and ring that bell so that you can stay up to date with DIY in 5. This is Trisha, and I hope the next time you hear Patrick Starr, it will be because you and or your children are either watching SpongeBob or are interacting with him at Universal Studios. Until next time. <laughs>